Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, I would like to share with you my observations about uh, levels of personal development, uh, levels of development, how you go through life, um, and uh, awareness, and autopilot, and how all these things are connected. So, first things first, a uh, long time ago I was walking on the street and then I happened to have this state all of, all of a sudden um, where I would notice things around in different colors, like the colors were more vibrant, the sky was blue, different shade of blue, like brighter, and I could hear voice, voices, noises, everything around. It was very strange but super exciting and happy state. And then after that state, it was like, as it arrived, it was gone right away. And I was like, hey, what is it? It was so interesting. And then I never had that state anymore. And I was always trying to understand what it was and how to get it back, because the state was really, truly state of bliss. So as I went through life, um, developing myself, reading a lot, trying to make myself a better person, day to day, different things. Um, I came to understanding about awareness and consciousness. So from as of today, I can say there are several stages of development of, of consciousness. And uh, it's like we're coming from autopilot to a conscious being or aware person, aware being. So for me, it starts with autopilot. Well, actually not. It starts with a kid, when you're a child, and you're very open, there is no autopilot, you're just in this happy state where you don't have analytical mind, where things are just happening to you because uh, you have parents who take care of you, you have friends who you play with. The life is truly a bliss. And uh, that's the state where that we start our life with. And uh, uh, psychologists say and scientists say that until six years old, I think, we're not, um, if I'm not mistaken, you can check this information, um, we don't have yet analytical mind. So we're really staying in the subconscious mind on theta waves where everything is just different. And then the brain starts developing more, more and we start to have analytical mind which is very different and uh, probably by the time we're teenagers or so a little bit later or maybe a bit earlier for different people different things uh, we become a human being with a set of behaviors constant same repetitive thoughts and the behaviors the habits uh, they are the one to control they are the one controlling our lives and uh, as, as well as reactions to outer environment so that state I would call autopilot because it feels like we already have habits and we act through life out of the habits. We don't really consciously do things. So we just go through life on autopilot and life happens to us. So life happens to us and gives us lessons for us to get more developed, to get more uh, to get stronger in life, to get to get to to grow to a certain level. So those lessons that we get, in my understanding, how I see it, we get like few lessons, and then we get an exam. For instance, um, a girl would be dating boy or boys, and or being friends with boys, and every time she has a guy who would be almost a copy paste from the previous one. So that those things I would call lessons. And then eventually she gets a boyfriend that is really a combination of all those previous guys with all the same set of behaviors and uh, the way he treats her. And then she's like, hey, what is this? So at that time, I would think that that's an exam where she has to understand that everything else has been repeating the same way. And then she has to change her behavior in order to pass this exam and to go to the next stage of development. Once you have these type of lessons and then you go through the exam, exam, um, you get to get certain a certain level of awareness because you start recognizing patterns, you start recognizing 
behaviors of people, you see the world more in details, right? So on that level, which would be the second level, you start getting already a little bit more self-aware and aware of the outer environment and how it affects you. So what kind of lessons you have. So on that level, I would say you already have certain level of awareness and then you watch things happen to you, but then maybe it's enough only one thing for you to happen. The example with the boyfriend again. So you only get this type of person in your life and you realize it right away. And then you'll be like, oh, okay, that's not my type of person. So then instead of like getting one lesson and one exam, you can just get an exam. So you like recognize things right away. Um, it's not easy to get to that level, but it all requires growth, of course. It requires people to go through sometimes lots of experience. And some people are actually staying on an autopilot level and they never ever get to live life consciously. Uh, for me, I feel like I'm staying right now in my life on the next level of development where you are already conscious and that's, I would call it third level, um, where you're already conscious and you have things that happen in your life and you don't, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that on first two levels, the things that happen to you they are super painful, like very painful to your inner world, to your painful emotions, uh, mentally it's super hard and difficult. It's like your heart being torn away, torn apart. And then first and second level, it's quite painful. Then second level is less painful and third level, it's even less painful or maybe like almost not painful. So me, um, I feel that I'm at that level where it's not painful anymore because the things that are happening to me, that, that life, life is, is, is getting, throwing at me, um, it's like lessons and exams right away, right? So I recognize them, I, I, I always question like, what is it hap why is it happening, what it has to teach me, why I attract these type of people, these types of situations. And that's another level of awareness where you really, um, kind of like getting in control of it. And uh, that would be like third level of awareness, oh sorry, second level of awareness, third level of development, um, as it was my observation, as I understand it. And then there is next level where I'm almost there, like I'm between third and, and fourth level, where things are not happening to you anymore, but you are consciously making things happen. For instance, um, you have this person in your life, just a new person, and you'd be like, oh, I don't feel good about that person, like something is off. And then instead of like rejecting that person right away, you'd be going and trying to meet that person and trying to understand why that person doesn't feel right for you. And maybe, for instance, uh, the person is like, like happened to me when I was very shy and I didn't know how to talk to people. I would really look bad at the girls, I would reject them, the girls who are like very active and easily going with others, like uh, someone who's super friendly and talkative. So I would look at them and I would reject them right away, but just because subconsciously I wanted to be like them, because I wanted to have those qualities. So at, that, at the fourth level of awareness, that's, that's where I'm now too, um, so between the third and fourth, uh, when the life happens to you, when the events happen to you, you are trying to run after those events and then take those events as opportunity for you to grow. So let's say you go to this person with this person and be like, oh, okay, now I understand, like after the meeting with the person, why it didn't feel the right way or let's say why I need to be friends with that person and it's not a fake friendship, it's just because you need and you want it to happen because you feel like you need some sort of development in yourself so that person can bring you something, but not in a false way, really, but more naturally and through your heart. So for me, that's like next level of awareness. And uh, at that time, the life doesn't happen really painfully to you. You already are in control of the emotions of yourself and you perceive everything as a really 
a real lesson as gift from life and the problems are not problems anymore. They are just lessons, they're just situations that to overcome and the situations that actually teach you to how to grow and how to be a better person or whatever you decide the situations need are, are for you, what, what they teach you, what, why you need them for. And the next level of awareness for me is awareness and development uh, is when you have like superpower, super awareness, uh, when you are consciously going to get out those, um, those experiences that you need to get in yourself. For instance, um, experience of entrepreneur. You're, let's say, you are a worker and an employee or a freelance, but then you really want to build a business. So you'd be like, hey, I, I don't want like wait for the life to give me something and for an opportunity or so, which might never happen. So you are already on that level of awareness that you say, hey, I want to do this. I want to get this as, a, as, as in my skills, as my tool set. And then I have to put myself out there. I have to meet people. I have to do this, 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 because I want to become that type of person. So that level of awareness is really incredible because definitely it's not painful anymore. It's just difficult sometimes to overcome yourself and your your set of behaviors and uh, habits and all that. So, uh, so you really put yourself out there trying to, to be better than you are, who you are, right? You try to grow. So that level is really not painful, but somewhat difficult, but super exciting actually. And uh, I'm still not yet there for some reasons and for others I feel like I'm there already because it's like when you think about it things happen. So on the last levels of development I also noticed that when you become conscious you start to have these as I call them miracles but someone called them synchronicities. So those are certain events in your life let's say you thought about a friend of yours and then that friend just writes a message to you like, hey, where are you? How are you being? And you're like, wow, what happened? I just thought about this person and then I receive a message. Or for instance, you decide to like, you haven't been out for a while and then you'd be like, oh, it would be cool to go for an event of a photographer, a photography or so. And then all of a sudden you see somewhere a post about an, a, photog a photography event exhibition in your neighborhood or whatever in your city. And you'd be like, wow, this is so cool. So those things I call synchronicities and oh, miracles, little miracles. I like to call them that way. It's, 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 it's really magic. When those things happen to you, it's really magical. Um, you feel like, you know, someone has orchestrated it. But then, in fact, I think that we are the one creating this, these opportunities and these little synchronicities. But I think there is another level where you don't just create those synchronicities, but you also create bigger synchronicities. Let's say when you dream of something and you really want it and it happens in your life, like the dream house or the dream job or anything else. I haven't experienced that myself, but I believe it's there. And of course it requires work, but it's just there. It's just next level where you are creator of your life, of your own reality, and you are the one growing. Instead of life happening to you, life is happening for you. That's it for this video. That's all the information that I wanted to share. Uh, comment below, uh, write your thoughts. I will, read, I will be reading comments. Maybe you have any suggestions or anything you want to discuss would be really cool. Thanks. Bye-bye.